All right guys, so in this video, I wanna show you the 1.8 liter Hyundai engine that has that slight knock that most people miss when they go and buy these cars. I went and bought this car with a leaking front transmission seal, and when I got it, I drove two hours to go pick this thing up for a really good deal, and when I got it, I started it up and I heard that faint ticking of the engine that I knew was like the rattle of death for the Hyundais. So I got an even better deal on this car, which is why I bought it in the first place. I got it home and I swear I took pictures before of what the cylinders looked like before I went and had them bored out 20 over, but I'm going to zoom in. Apparently I didn't, or I lost the pictures, so I'm just going to take what I have and zoom in so you guys can kind of see a little bit better. The cylinder walls were completely scored on this engine. I mean, this when you popped off the, the oil cap, it had a ton of blow by. I mean, a ton. It was spraying oil out. It was shooting so much blow by. And that's definitely not normal. So you guys will barely hear it, but it's got that tick, 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 tick noise when you get on the gas a little bit. That's how you know you're going to have this problem. It's a really common Hyundai 1.8 engine uh, and 2.0 and 2.4. All of them have it. And I'm not exactly sure what causes it. Some people say it's the piston skirts um, that wear out, which in this case I will say, because I've been trying to do a lot of research on what causes this, the piston skirts on the pistons that I took out of this engine were completely worn out. The cylinder walls just had big gouges in them, but evidently we did bore it out 20 over and it cleaned up really nice. And this engine is now being put together. It's about 90% of the way done. I'm gonna make an update video on this as well. I'm going to show you guys just so you know what to look for and then we're going to continue on with this series uh, when I put this engine back in the car and get it running again what we can do to try to prevent this issue from happening if it hasn't already happened to you chances are if you have a 1.8 engine it's probably already got the tick so let me just go ahead and show you guys what I got now and then just pay attention to future videos subscribe like this one and you'll see more content here in the near future